Yeah, the first full series that Southern Utah plays here at Catherine Berg Field is a winning series as they take the rubber match here in game three, 10 to six, the final. Spencer McLaughlin with you, head coach Don Don Williams for Southern Utah. Joining me here, and coach, just kind of your uh, initial reaction to this game three. Yeah, I think, you know, the pitchers came out today and had a much better performance and shut them down, especially nice to see Delaney come in in the late innings and, and shut them down as well. And, you know, we had those three errors early in the game. and But after that, I think the defense settled down, cleaned it up, and uh, that gave us some momentum. And especially with those seven runs, was that in the third inning or, yeah? Yeah, seven runs yeah. in the third inning. That really, that, that helped, so that was nice. When you have, you know, the errors taking place behind the pitching staff, how do you keep your pitchers dialed in in the circle and keep them focused on the task at hand? Yeah, I mean, we just we just talk about winning pitches, and so it's on to the next pitch. we got to win the pitch and um, settle down and just keep the energy up and, and make sure that we're talking. And so we talked about it in pregame, and I think we're doing a good job of coming back from, from defensive errors. You said coming into the series you wanted to see your team get more hits, score more runs. 14 yesterday in game two in the win, 10 here today. What, what's clicking for your team offensively right now? You know, I think we're attacking good pitches, and um, we're getting on time, and that's really what we try to do. And um, it's all about you're only as good as the pitch you decide to attack, and they've been doing a really good job of making those adjustments. When you look at where your team A is at right now, two of three here, you, you have a busy week next week. Two against Utah Tech, one against Utah State, then three against Seattle U. Six games in total next week, five of them end league play. How does this series get your team ready for that stretch? Well, I just think it gives us momentum. You know, I um, I think that we're, we're seeing the ball well, and so we've got to continue to keep that momentum, have good preparation on Monday, and come out, come out strong against that other school down the road. Cassidy Munoz is someone who is a newcomer for your team this year, had maybe her best series of the year in these three games. What do you like about her approach at the plate? You know, she's she's just a competitor, and um, I think she's starting to find her swing and uh, coming in and attacking good pitches and couldn't have happened at a better time. So I'm really proud of her um, to step it up. You talked about the pitching staff. Delaney Baker, you know, has been the final pitcher in each of these two wins uh, in this series. She's started a lot of games for you this year, but how helpful is it to be able to bring someone like that out of the pen? Just so nice to have that versatility. And, and um, you know, she's starting to get the experience under her belt. Um, you know, she transferred in here from BYU, and, and we knew she was going to play a big role for us. And uh, I think she's really embracing that and doing a great job. Emily Delgado got roughed up a little bit in game one yesterday. Comes in relief against the same lineup today. A lot more success. What do you think was different? You know, I think she was just spinning it more. Um, you know, Emily, when she starts to press, you know, the ball gets a little flat and then of course you know the changeup is key for her success and i think her changeup looked really good today well coach any final thoughts on this one before you head off into the weekend with a two out of three series win no i'm just looking forward to some nice weather <laughs> yeah. and uh come on out and support us go t-birds yeah uh I'm, I'm looking forward to it as well hopefully i won't be wearing such a puffy jacket yeah, next me too. week we'll see you then thank you coach